Hi, my name is Denise. I'm an Airtime developer, and in this video, I'm going to be introducing show linking, which is a new feature we just implemented in Airtime 2.4. Show linking allows you to manage repeat show content without having to update each show individually. So I'm going to get started in the calendar page and create a show. You'll find the linking option in the repeat show form area because only repeat shows can be linked. So I'll make the show repeat weekly with no end and let's go ahead and check off the linking option. So once the show's been created you'll notice the linking icon and this is just to give you a visual indicator that these shows are linked. I'm going to add a dynamic smart block and this is because each show will have unique content. So I only have to select one of the instances to work with because anything I do in one instance will also take effect in the others. So here's my dynamic smart block. I add it to the show. Once I click OK you're going to notice that it's been added to all of the shows and we know this because the show filled icon has disappeared indicating that each show is full and we can verify this by viewing the content for each of the shows. If you wanted each show to have the same content you could have added a static smart block or handpicked the tracks individually. And I'm just going to delete all the content so we can do another demonstration. So again, I only have to select remove all content from one of the instances and all the content will get deleted from the rest. So let's go to the now playing page. I'm just going to use the filter here so we can see the rest of the shows. And I'm just going to select a few tracks. I'm going to select add to show. And you can see each of these four tracks was added to each of the linked shows. And if I want to reorder them, again, I only have to do it in one of the instances. So if I move broken to the top, you'll see it's been moved to the top in each show. Same if I want to delete a track, I only need to delete it in one location for it to take effect everywhere. Another cool thing about show linking is that you can link the shows after it's already been created. So I'm going to create a second show same thing as the first show, we'll have a repeat except this time we're not going to link it. And I'm going to add the same dynamic smart block to the second repeat instance. And you can see the other instances are still empty because it's not linked yet. So if I go back and edit the show link it this time, you're going to notice that the rest of the instances are going to fill up with that dynamic block that we added to the second instance. And we can verify this by viewing the content. So that sums up show linking. I hope you enjoyed this screencast and find show linking useful.